Hi hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to try to demonstrate how to create an image gallery uh, with hover effect on XD. Uh, one of the biggest problems uh, when creating an image gallery uh, uh, with an hover effect uh, that makes the hover thumbnail bigger is uh, we cannot uh, bring the hover thumbnails uh, in front of the others while making it bigger so uh, we're gonna look at two workarounds in this video and um, unfortunately there is no uh, there isn't a perfect way of doing it uh, not that I can think of but uh, I came up with uh, two workarounds and uh, one of them is uh, just uh, changing the Z index of the Howard element uh, in a component state uh, and taking it in front of all of the other thumbnails uh, when Howard to that element like this. Unfortunately, in this method, uh, until the transition to that uh, to that component state. Uh, that has the Harvard element in front of the other ones uh, until that transition to that state uh, is completed uh, it remains uh, in its own location so uh, the thumbnail starts to uh, grow uh, keeping its original Z index and then uh, when the transition is completed uh, since uh, we change the layer order in that particular uh, state of the component uh, it, it gets taken uh, in front of the uh, other ones this particular method may be suitable for uh, demonstrating just one or two uh, images hover effects in your prototype uh, and the other method is both of them uh, has their pros and cons so uh, that's why I, I'm going to uh, demonstrate both both of them so uh, in second method as you see uh, we just uh, use uh, a background image a static background image of our thumbnails and uh, we keep our components default state at 0% uh, opacity we, uh, or we make it invisible and uh, as thumbnails we use a static image and uh, we make our component visible while uh, in its hover, hover state uh, and that way uh, it creates the illusion of uh, illusion of a uh, an expanding image gallery on hover so uh, let's get started uh, with the first alternative I uh, previously uh, copied the first uh, both artboards so uh, as you see there aren't any components here uh, all we have is uh, static image cards uh, image card groups what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna create the components out of these thumbnails by command K and uh, in each new state or uh, or each uh, large image we are going to show we're gonna create uh, a separate state and uh, we're gonna make that thumbnail bigger uh, in that state as I said this is not suitable for creating a whole image gallery but uh, and not a very flexible way, way to be honest but uh, this can be useful for demonstrating just uh, a few images hover effects as I created a new state of my component in this new state I'm going to uh, I'm going to make the first image bigger let's say I'm going to make it with 400 pixels 
and since uh, we want the bigger image in front of uh, all of the rest while I'm in this uh, new state I'm going to select that image card and I'm gonna carry uh, carry it to the top uh, in the layer order so uh, we complete it for the first image that uh, we want to demonstrate hover effect on and uh, let's say we're gonna do also for second image but uh, we need a new component state for that one let's name it two as uh, it represents the hover state of the second image and i believe the width was 400 pixels as i love the uh, aspect ratio the height is going to be changed uh, changed accordingly and uh, as i did in the first uh, state I'm also going to uh, carry uh, that particular image to the top in the layer order. So uh, let's go to the default state and uh, wire the hover effect of hover effects of those two images. So the uh, trigger is not going to be track; it's going to be hover. And when I hover over this element, uh, I want my components, uh, components destination to be first state. And when I hover over the second image, I want my components destination to be uh, state two. So let's uh, preview this uh, prototype. So when I hover over, as you see, uh, thumbnails are getting bigger and they are being carried in front of the uh, other thumbnails so this is the first workaround and for second uh, workaround as you see this is uh, just another static uh, image card uh, there aren't any components or any other elements here in the second method uh, we are going to uh, create a component out of this uh, image card and I'm going to create a repeat, repeat grid to uh, quickly create a gallery let's increase the space a little bit Let's group these and uh, my components. So I'm gonna uh, edit the main component. In hover state, uh, we need to increase the width of my image card, right? Let's lock the aspect ratio. So yeah. Uh, but as you see, uh, after doing that, uh, still uh, we still have a layer order issue. So uh, we need to uh, we need to resolve it with uh, our second method of the workaround. Before demonstrating uh, our workaround method, uh, I'm going to create a uh, second copy of uh, of group of my components, uh, and I'm going to ungroup them. There are still components, but all we need is a, uh, a background image, a static background image that consists of just uh, image cards. Uh, so we can uh, apply our workaround. And uh, let's actually put 
put some guides here for to make our alignments easy uh, alignment easier later on so uh, what i need to do is since uh, we are going to use these guys as background image uh, all we need to do is uh, just while we are in default state of our component uh, we need to make our thumbnails invisible so that uh, we're gonna increase the uh, opacity of our thumbnails at hover state that way uh, they're gonna appear every time uh, in front of our background image so that's going to create the illusion of we are uh, carrying our uh, hovered uh, thumbnail images in front of the rest right so uh, as you see also in hover state the uh, opacities are zero so we need to increase those while keeping the default at zero and yeah so uh, let's preview this as you see uh, actually, uh, in default state of our component, the uh, our components are invisible, and while we hover over our thumbnails, uh, since uh, we make our thumbnails visible on hover state, they create the illusion of they are being carried in front of the rest. So yeah, uh, these are two non-perfect uh, workarounds of creating image galleries.